the Ceylon Petroleum Corporation announced a reduction in fuel prices. Accordingly, the price of Octane 92 petrol has been reduced by 21 rupees per litre. The new price is 311 rupees per litre. The price of auto diesel has been reduced by 24 rupees per litre, with the new price being 283 rupees per litre. The price of super diesel has decreased by 33 rupees per litre, with the new price being 319 rupees per litre. The price of kerosene has been reduced by 19 rupees per litre, the new price is 183 rupees per litre. However, there is no change in the price of 95 octane petrol. Lanka IOC and Sepetco also revised their fuel prices to meet the CPC levels. The cabinet spokesperson stated that as the economy strengthens, steps will be taken to gradually reduce fuel prices. We are keen to significantly reduce fuel prices. However, this must be done after careful analysis of the profit and loss implications. If we reduce prices by large amounts such as 100 rupees or 200 rupees at once, it could impact the financial stability. Therefore, we plan to gradually reduce fuel prices as the economy strengthens. With these reductions, we aim to lower bus fares, three-wheeler fares and other production costs. We will also consider reducing LP gas prices in the future. The Ceylon Petroleum Corporation will conduct a review and reductions will be made accordingly. The Samiki Joint Trade Union Alliance has expressed its disapproval of the recent fuel price adjustment. We strongly disagree with the decisions made by the President and the Minister of Energy regarding this fuel price adjustment. During the presidential election, the President clearly highlighted the issues with the current fuel pricing. As a prominent trade union leader and party figure, he exposed the exploitation in fuel pricing. However, his recent decision, taken without any consultation, has created significant challenges for both industrialists and professionals who are striving to revive the country's economy. Here is a response from the chairman of the Ceylon Petroleum Corporation regarding this matter. We have introduced a pricing formula for our fuel prices, which has been approved and legalized by the cabinet. The fuel prices are determined based on this formula. If we were to reduce fuel prices significantly again, we would need to consider the tax implications. Decisions on taxes cannot be made based on political perspectives alone. They must consider the overall impact on the country's economy. This requires time for study and analysis. Discussions are currently ongoing to understand the economic situation better. These discussions are taking place as we speak. In response to the recent reduction in diesel prices, the National Transport Commission has decided to lower bus fares effective from midnight to night. The commission announced that the minimum bus fare will be reduced from 28 rupees to 27 rupees. This reduction will apply to standard services, semi-luxury services, luxury services and super-luxury services. The Ministry of Transport also stated that legal action will be taken against any bus operators who charge passengers more than the stipulated fare. The Lanka Private Bus Owners Association has stated that it is not feasible to reduce bus fares at this time. On the 31st August, the price of diesel was reduced by 10 rupees and last night it was further reduced by 24 rupees. This totals a reduction of 34 rupees. According to our pricing formula, we need to review any increase or decrease in fuel prices by 4% to adjust bus fares. The All Ceylon Private Bus Owners Association has agreed to reduce bus fares. This benefit must be definitely passed on to the passengers. Therefore, we have decided to reduce bus fares by approximately 4%. Consequently, the minimum bus fare will also be reduced. Currently, the minimum fare is 28 rupees, but we believe there will be no issue in bringing it down to 25 rupees. The All Ceylon Interprovincial School Children Transport Services Association has stated that despite the reduction in fuel prices, it is not feasible to lower school transport fees. At this moment, we do not intend to adjust the transport fees. The reason is that every time there is an increase in costs, such as additional parts and other expenses, it impacts our overall expenses. 
The All Ceylon Three Wheel Owners Association and Drivers Association has announced that there will be no reduction in three wheel fares. Chairman Sundil Jaruk stated that fares will only be reduced if the price of petrol drops below 300 rupees.